Greg, you worked with us today in the morning lecture about uh, the work of Donald Capps. Yeah. And in particular, uh, your takeaway that youth ministers need to be agents of hope. Mm -hmm. Not just a hope, but, a, but an interruptive hope. Yeah. Tell us what you mean by that and what that looks like in a ministry. Yeah, this, uh, this definition was both inspired by Donald Capps' book, Agents of Hope, which I highly recommend, and the work of uh, a group called Ceasefire. Uh, they're the violence interrupters, and they literally go into the point of conflict in a community, and they stand in between the combatants, and they interrupt the violence. I view hope that way. I believe that hope must penetrate these, uh, this atmosphere of despair and apathy and shame, which, which Caps uh, outlines as the, pr the three primary threats of hope. So this, this interrupting hope, is this is how I would define it. It's a disruptive desire. It penetrates this, this field of, of seeming, seemingly all-pervasive hopelessness. So it, it, it disrupts, it's a, it's a disruptive desire for existential change. Not just, you know, uh, I, I wish I had a new pair of Jordans or I wish it, it rained today. I'm hoping that my life could take on a new flavor. It, 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 I could be a different person. How does that happen? This disruptive desire for existential change is created and sustained in a community of reliable others. They're not perfect, right? They're good enough, as Winnicott would say. And it doesn't have to be a large group. It could be just a few people who are supporting you on your journey. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical group. It's ideal if it is. But Moltmann, when he was a prisoner of war, he sat before the Bible, and as he saw people dying, both spiritually and physically, he found a community of reliable others in Scripture, and they generated and sustained his hope in that seemingly all-despairing environment. But it also could be music, right? Music enlivens new possibilities in us. So, uh, and of course, it could be the reliable other, right? Uh, as a person of faith, I think uh, our, our hope is built upon the backbone of the reliable other, sustaining and generating this desire for existential change. I believe that this hope has three components, Skip. And uh, this has come through years of research and uh, conversations with people all over the world, which has uh, been very humbling to me to work this out. The first thing I think is hope must face difficulties. Um, I believe a hope that doesn't deal with the traumatic circumstances of our lived reality is not much of a hope. It's, it's a false hope. It's a wish. So I think we must struggle with the challenges that face us all. The second, uh, I, I don't think it's, it's, it's really healthy for hope to only stay in the difficult situation. And this involves this community of reliable others, not only in helping us face the difficulties. Hope must envision new possibilities. That, yes, yeah, difficult here, but what might life be like if I got my GED? What might life be like if I actually followed my calling of being an artist, even though I've been told my whole life, you should be a doctor, right? So that community helps you to envision that new possibility. It could be that music and saying, ah, I am a little crazy, as, as CeeLo would say, but I have to follow this dream. And then the, the third component is because I, I think a hope that doesn't move us somewhere is kind of anemic, it's, it's, it's not fully functional. So I think the, the third component of a hope is it works collectively for transformation of self and other. As you invest in the life of a young person, that young person also sees you as a source of wisdom, as a source of uh, integrity, as a source of strength. And so not only are you working to instill and help bring out the hope that's already existent, that may be dormant in a young person, 
They're enlivening your possibilities and challenging you to be your best self. So it's transforming both of the people, all of the people in that small community of reliable others. So an interrupting hope is a disruptive desire for existential change that is created and sustained in a community of reliable others. It has three components. It faces difficulties, it envisions new possibilities, and it works for transformation of self and other. 